In Office 365, you have the option to journal messages sent or received to a specific user, a group, or to an entire organization. And what this is good for is it allows us to save a copy of any message sent or received in case we're worried that someone might delete messages and we have compliance issues where we need to keep a copy of all messages. Or it's possible a court case may be coming up and you're worried about employees deleting data. So what we want to do is we want to start by clicking on admin. And after we're in admin, we're going to go down to the lower left-hand corner and choose admin centers and click on exchange. Once we're in exchange, we're going to go to the very bottom where it says compliance management, and we're going to click on journal rules. Before we get started with a journal rule, we need to make sure we have a place to send undeliverable journal reports to. So I've gone ahead and, and created a new user called journal and I've selected that user. But uh, until you create your first rule, you're not going to see anything in there. So I'll show you how to add it. So you just go ahead and click on that link and where it says send undeliverable journal reports to, click on browse and choose any user you want. You can also go back and create a new user like I did and then you can choose the journal user. Go ahead and click save. And now we have a place to send undeliverable reports to. So it won't let you create this first rule unless you do that. Now we'll go ahead and click on plus, and we have the apply this rule. So we need to send, uh, we need to have a place where we're sending our journal reports. Now you can't send it to a user inside your Office 365. You have to create a new Office 365 account and for another creating another organization basically, or you need to have an email location someplace else. So we have another email location, which is on an exchange server in another place. So I've gone ahead and sent that up as uh, the, the place where I'm going to send my journal reports. So um, I have a, uh, you can create a contact if you want, or just go ahead and put in a public email address outside of your Office 365 organization. Once I've done that, I can go ahead and we'll just go ahead and give this a name. We'll just call it journal and now we're ready to, to go to the next step. So this may be a spot where it really is a deal killer for you if you don't have another location to send these journal reports to because this is going to generate a lot of email. So you have to have a place that has a lot of space to take on this new uh, journal email because every single email sent or received from a person, group, or organization is also going to get sent to this other mailbox. So you may want to uh, make sure that you've got that uh, straightened out first before you go to this next step. If you do to ch uh, choose to decide to create another Office 365 organization, then you can actually have an entire terabyte of email, so you should have plenty of space to do that. All right, so now we're to the point where it says if the message is sent or received to or from. You click on select one, and you can either choose a specific user or group or everyone in your organization. Now I'm just going to choose a specific user because in my case, not everyone has important email and I don't have compliance issues. So let's go ahead and choose Jane Doe Smith, click on add, and she's the only one with important enough email to journal, so we'll just go ahead and choose her. Now we're going to choose journal the following messages. We can choose all messages, which means both internal and external messages, or we can just specifically choose internal or external. I'm going to go ahead and choose all messages. And now I'll go ahead and click save. And now my journal rule is complete. If I want to, I can go back in and edit it and change it by adding additional users uh, or groups, or I can change it for everyone in the organization. I can also just click the delete and it will make this rule go away. So if anyone sends a message either internally or externally to Jane Doe, it will get sent off to that journal email address that I put in the journal rule. Once again, you cannot use an email inside your Office 365 organization for journaling. You have to send all those journal emails to another location. Otherwise, uh, this won't work. So now that we're all done, any email message sent to Jane is going to get journaled. And that's how you set up journaling in Office 365.